Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to transfer Shopify store to another owner. So if you're looking to transfer your ocean ownership for your Shopify store to another individual or entity, whether you're selling your business or transferring ownership for other reasons, it's essential to follow proper steps to ensure smooth transactions or transition. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, Make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial set with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section, simply type shopify.com and hit the enter button. Once you're here, make sure if you don't know nothing about this, scroll down and read all the informations about Shopify store to familiarize yourself where or more with the website. Of course, you can even go and look for their pricing plans as an example and go and check for whatever suits you if you want to get more professional with Shopify. Of course, you can even go and start your free trial if you don't have an account. And if you don't have an account, if you have an account, simply go and click on login and simply login into your store or your account. So, of course, you will have, first of all, if you want to transfer your ownership to initiate a conversation with the pro prospective new owner and discuss the details of the transfer. Make sure to clarify the terms, including the transfer date, uh, the purchase price if ap applicable, and any other relevant terms or conditions. Or conditions sorry. And of course, ensure both parties are in agreement and have a clear understanding of the transfer process. Then make sure to gather all the necessary documents and information related to your Shopify store. Of course, this may include some legal agreements as an example, or contracts, inventory, lists, customer database, domain ownership, and any other assets associated with the business, uh, with the business of course. And ensure that all the documents is accurate and up to date and legally binding. Then make sure to contact Shopify support to inform them about the upcoming transfer. And of course, this will guide you through the process and provide any necessary instructions or documentation requirements. Be prepared to provide relevant information such as your store URL, your Shopify account details, and the details of the new owner. Within your Shopify admin dashboard, you will have to go to settings on this left panel as an example and select, wait, let's just wait for it until it loads. And then make sure to go to this left panel and click on users and on the permissions. And of course, from here, you'll be able to transfer the ownership to a new owner. Of course, the new owner, you will have to go and click on transfer ownership and click on or enter the email address of the new owner and assign them uh, the owner or administrator role. And of course, this new owner will receive an email invitation to accept the owner of the store and they need to follow the instructions to complete the transfer process. As an example, there are two options. There is the option to add this stuff and make it as an administrator or you can simply click on transfer ownership. If you click on transfer ownership, as you can see, when the transfer is complete, you will lose your instructed access to the store. So the new store owner will be able to remove you from the store or change your permissions, view or edit credit card and banking information and pause or close the store. So simply, you will have to go and enter the informations of the new owner, including the email, first name, last name, and enter the password of your account to confirm this transfer. Once you've filled everything, I click on transfer store ownership. And as I said before, he will receive an email invitation to accept the ownership of the store. And they need to follow the instructions to complete the transfer process. And if your Shopify store uses a custom domain, you'll need to transfer the domain ownership to the new owner. You will have to go and contact your domain registrator and follow their specific instructions also for transferring ownership also of that domain. This usually involves initiating a domain transfer process or updating the domain trend details with the new owner information. And of course, transfer all the relevant business assets such as inventory, customer database, social media accounts, and email marketing lists to the less new owner. So provide them with access to these assets and ensure a smooth handover. Additionally, Update any third-party integrations or service associated with your Shopify store to reflect the new ownership. 
And of course, if applicable, seller settle an outstanding financial matters uh, related to your Shopify store. This may include outstanding payments for suppliers, outstanding invoice, or refunds to customer. Ensure all finances obligations are uh, resolved before uh, finalizing the transfer to avoid any complications or disputes. And of course, make sure uh, before of everything to, to notify your customers and suppliers and any other relevant parties about the change of ownership with your store. So make sure to communicate uh, the details uh, of the transfer and provide any necessary contact informations to the new owner. And of course, this will help you maintain transparency and ensure seamless transactions for all the skate holders. And once everything everything is done, you will be just like another maybe staff on this store, unless the new owner removes removes you even from that. He can leave you there, and he can even change your permissions. For example, you, he can just leave you viewing or something like that. So depending on whatever you want, uh, the new owner will be able to do everything with your store after uh, you transfer the ownership. So you will not have to worry about the account again. Simply just go and lo log out from the account as an example and go and create another store for yourself as an example. So log out from the store and go and create another store if you want to start a new journey or if you're like selling stores, uh, growing up stores and selling them, you can simply go and do that by your own. So you will normally, after transferring your ownership to logouts from the accounts, he will normally have the access to everything, but it's inappropriate if you keep logging in into your accounts, especially without him knowing. So let's just get back into or get a reminder of the steps of transferring the ownership. So first, you'll have to communicate and agree to the transfers with the new owner. Then make sure to prepare any necessary documentation between you and him. Then make sure to notify the Shopify support of this transfer of ownership. Then make sure to transfer the ownership within uh, the Shopify on the settings option of your store. Then make sure to transfer the domain of ownership to the new owner if you have a custom domain uh, within your store. Make sure to transfer the business assets also and settle financial matters. And of course, make sure finally to inform the customers and suppliers with the new owner. So if you reached the response of this video, congratulations, you've successfully transferred your Shopify store to another owner in 2023. By following these steps and completing the necessary documentations process and process, of course, you've ensured the smooth transactions of ownership. Remember to communicate effectively with the new owner, Shopify supports and other skate holders throughout the process. And if you have any other questions or need further assistance, you can go and uh, reach the support of Shopify and then they will help you for sure. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one. So thank you for watching and best of luck with your new or with your future endeavors. So I'll see you in the next video.